today we're taking a look at this 1996 Subaru Legacy GT. Just arrived on the lot, just got it cleaned up. This is a really, really cool car. Um, it's a twin turbo EJ20H engine. So we didn't have the twin turbo set up here in the US in the GT models. We just had a single turbo. I believe it was on the 2.5 liter engine, but um, the two liter was a bit less common here. So EJ20, typically more reliable than the EJ25. And the twin turbo is really cool to have. It's a two stage, so you've got a smaller turbo and a larger turbo. The larger one will spool up and create more boost at higher RPM when you really rev it out. Uh, so it's a lot of fun to drive. You can actually kind of feel the smaller turbo kicks in and then when the big turbo kicks in, you get a ton of power at higher RPM. Uh, it has Subaru's classic symmetrical all-wheel drive. Feels really balanced to drive. There's a loud Subaru in the distance. Um, but yeah, tires look great. Everything around the body looks good. No major scratches or dents. There's a few scuffs throughout, but nothing crazy. And this dark blue color is really, really nice. There is a bit of a protrusion in the rear bumper there. Front and rear disc brakes. And this one came with the roof rack and crossbars already installed on there. So if you want to throw a basket or something up here, or a kind of rocket box, then that is absolutely an option. I really like the frameless windows on these cars. So definitely a cool, very 90s look. So in here you have a factory Momo steering wheel to go with the GT model. Automatic transmission, which these automatics are actually really nice. The four speed, uh, I forget the exact code for this transmission, but it handles power really well. So if you want to convert this one to a single turbo or make a little bit more power out of it, the automatic transmission is a great thing to handle it. The manuals, not quite so much. Starts right up. Okay, AC compressor kicked on. AC works great. Shut that off for now. So this one has the original radio here, and climate controls up there, cup holders in the dash, up here. This is one of the first generations to get the cup holders. Uh, very comfortable seats. These are well bolstered, pretty tight, so they hold you in really nicely. This thing handles really, really well. Suspension is pretty tight. Power folding mirrors, both work. Go ahead and take a look at the fog lights and such. They also have heated mirrors, which is nice. This is a, the higher trim, so you get a lot of good options. And the Japanese models get a slightly different tailgate here. Um, so you have full white lights rather than amber turn signals. Or turn signal housings. So that should be pretty much it for the front here. You also have your hold automatic transmission button, so that's going to hold it in second gear so you don't spin out in slippery situations. No sunroof in this one, quite a bit of headroom, there's a lot of space in here. And these back seats are nice because they do fold down flat. 
you pull this little lever here to pull the base of the seat up. I'll have some photos of that on the website, but that is a nice perk so that you can lay longer things all the way throughout the back of this wagon. These are really great on space. So wagons are genius in general, but Subaru also did a really good job with these. So tons of cargo space back here. This one has the factory cargo cover. That's in good shape. You've got a little secret compartment down here with some spare tools, uh, emergency triangles, and jumper cables, and then the spare tire underneath all of that. You also have your jack in this compartment here and some extra secret storage in that compartment on the side there. Power antenna comes up when you turn on the radio right out of there. And lastly, we'll take a peek under the hood. So, you got Boxer, two-stage twin turbo. All these Boxer engines are fairly similar in layout, um, so if you're familiar with Subaru engines, this will be a very easy one to navigate. But you do have larger turbo on this side with the heat shield above it, smaller turbo on this side. Timing belt was just done, 74,000 kilometers, it's at around 82,000 kilometers right now. Really low mileage. Um, and yeah, an exceptionally clean engine bay. You've got your top mount intercooler, hood scoop dumps directly into that. Yeah, everything checks out really well. Um, we're gonna take it into the shop and probably get an oil change and then get some stuff underneath checked out. Nothing really stands out at this point, but it's always good to get an inspection done. Underneath the car down here. Checking it out for rust. This one does not look bad. Very clean underneath. So, if you're interested in this model, you can check it out on our website. It's our 1996 Toyota, or Subaru Legacy GT. It's available now. And we have a few of these on the way, actually. So yeah, go ahead and check it out, jdmcarandmotorcycle.com. Thank you for watching.